Welcome to our collective worship this morning. I'm Rev Reed, as I've known in school, and a huge hello to all of our young people at St Hilda's and Hovingham schools today. It's the fourth week uh, in the season of Easter, and the gospel passage we had on Sunday is Jesus the Good Shepherd from the Gospel of John. So as we begin to think about that in our worship, we light our candle, our Easter candle. The light of Christ shines in our hearts, banishing the darkness forever. So I've got Sheepa here with me because we're thinking about sheep and shepherds. And I've also got Lamsey with me. Now, Lamsey is Alexander's favourite bedtime um, teddy, and Lamsey likes to make an appearance with us in our videos. And I know that so many of you like to see Alexander um, at school. Um, so hello from Sheepa and Lamsey. Now, we have lots of farming families in our schools, so I know that you will know lots of things about sheep already. So maybe you just want to shout out for a minute a couple of things that you know about looking after sheep. There'll be lots of them. And certainly here, it's been such a delight to see lots of new lambs on Easter Day in the fields here next to me with Joyce's sheep and around Ampleforth. So the parable of the Good Shepherd, well, what's a parable? A parable is a story with a hidden message. And we're going to hear that parable today and think about the message that Jesus wants to share with us about his love for all of us. So Jesus grew up to be big and strong. He went around the land of Israel, talking to lots of people. And people liked to hear what he said. They liked to be around him and they wanted to listen to what he said more than they'd listened to anyone else before. And they wanted to hear more and more. Well, one day someone said to Jesus, who are you? And Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Now, Jesus isn't just any kind of shepherd. He's the good shepherd. The good shepherd leads his people out and the sheep follow him. They know his voice. The good shepherd leads his sheep to places of safety and good, clean water. And then when evening comes, he leads them home to safety. This is our sheepfold. Here we have the Good Shepherd and the sheep. Sheepfold, shepherd, sheep. And this is our Bible reading. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice.
They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice, so there will be one flock, one shepherd. How lucky! These sheep are to have someone who cares for them so much. I wonder why the sheep follow the good shepherd. Do you know? The good shepherd must love them very much. What do you think? How do you imagine the sheep feel to be loved so much? They must be very precious. Do you think these are the same sheep we see in the fields? If any of you would like to say anything to the Good Shepherd, say it now. Thank you, Good Shepherd that you give us everything we need, that you love us and that you care for us. Amen. So let us pray together the words that Jesus teaches us in the Lord's Prayer and you may like to join in the actions with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So thank you for joining me for our collective worship this morning. I pray that you and your families are well that you're enjoying this special time at home. I'm sure you've got used to doing things and you're doing some new things and you're learning lots of new things. If you would like to um, have a shout out or share any news on one of these videos with your friends, then please get your parent, to your mum, your dad, to send me an email and I can share what you'd like to say to your friends um, and your school in these videos that I do every Thursday. So the Lord bless us and keep us. Amen.